Hello, welcome back to Funtime Crafts 24-7. This is a let's make video and what we get to play with today is the Anna Griffin 3D Bunny Easel Die Set. Uh, this really sweet set right here uh, comes with the card base. Um, so these are your inspirations on the front. And then there's a few more on the back. So stinking sweet. Um, and then the interior of this um, little brochure tells you how to put the card together and how to use the dies to get the embossing and cutting through your Empress machine. Um, this set right here, it is a really nice jam-packed die set. Um, it looks like this. It comes with the easel... The easel card base right here comes with this sweet little bunny that sits on a little pedestal. And that bunny has a bunny with the pedestal has a layering die. And then a bunch of accessories. So it cuts out the little rim of the pedestal, cuts out the base, and then the middle portion of the um, pedestal. Um, you get a few little Easter eggs. You get a little flower embellishment. And then you get your double... A stopper piece you're layering in the intricate for the top and this is just an absolutely wonderful uh set for easter or whatever you'd like actually it doesn't necessarily necessarily have to be easter um bunnies we i tend to you know associate with easter though <laughs> or spring <laughs> could just be spring i guess and um or somebody who likes bunnies um so uh i've already played with it a little bit and uh, made, this is the, kind of, I did alter this. Um, I altered the easel card when I made it. Um, I used some of the Happy Paper Collection, some of uh, Anna Griffin's, um, like, turquoise blue uh, matte foil, some of her white metallic foil, uh, some of the, like, uh, pink rose gold matte foil. Um, and then uh, this is out of the wreath, st her wreath sticker set. Um, I actually cut all the eggs out in a white metallic and then I just colored them up with um, some Posca glitter paint pens and that worked the nicest for me. Uh, the fun part about this is I added on the plate uh, some, it's like moss. It, it's not Spanish moss because I think Spanish moss is the gray one, but it's a, it's just preserved moss. So it looks like this. I got this bag off of Amazon. It was a few dollars. Dude, it's not very expensive, but a little goes a long ways. Like you don't hardly need any of this. I I barely used any. Which is the fun thing about using that on crafting projects and home decor. You don't like you buy one bag, it'll last you for a long time. It's kind of like polyfill. <laughs> um then um I added a um if you're just, you you know, like that poly stuffing, you, it comes in these giant bags and then you, like when you do little projects, whether you're making little cute little decorative pillows or whatever, you don't hardly use any. At least I never do. I ended up giving the last bag I had away to my sister-in-law and she was super excited to get it. I was tired of storing it and I was like, I'm going to do what, um, oh, what is a uh, bargain Bethany does. She just buys little decorative pillows and she either steals the stuffing out of them or she just covers over them. <laughs> so I'm going to totally start doing that from getting them from like the Dollar Tree. So I don't have to store a whole bunch of it. But anyhow, wow, that was a total bunny trail. <laughs> so um, this is a little uh, Anna Griffin bow. Colored her, the little bunny's face up with the um my Posca paint pens and um, thought this card just came out really cute added some more this is the rest of the wreath um that wreath sticker added one of the bunny sentiments the easter bunny sentiments and then um i also edged um this card the in the in, inside and the outside with some of uh, anna griffin's new ink that petal pink and thought that just highlighted it a little bit more and made the outside uh layering stand out a bit and just added a little more fun but there is that one, and it goes like that, right? So this easel, it is totally, <laughs> I, I totally fabricated it um, because, well, first off, this should have been square. So I actually followed, I rounded it off and had it follow the ears to the top. 
And then I added this extra layering piece as well um, for mine. So that way it was cohesive when it stood up. It all looked the same because I just, I don't know. I don't like, I don't like it when it's like half. And so I wanted it to all be cohesive and be everything. So that way I would even get an extra decorative layer or two, which was really nice is why I like it that way as well. But the, I'm going to make another style just like this with the actual easel portion. And so I'll show you how I did that. This one actually uses the basket, uh, the basket die set. And I like this easel one much better. Um, I still actually ad lib because I use the Happy Paper Collection, which is not double sided. It's only single sided. So I cut the top of this out and added it to the top. So that way this portion was green and it looked really pretty and then it matched the bottom. But I love how this follows it around the top and looks similar. I really like that aspect of this, this easel card. And then when it stands up, it, um, it looks nice. It just all, there's no weird pieces sticking out or anything. It looks really good. So, um, yeah, so, but this is still the Happy Paper Collection. Craft cardstock highlighted with some ink. Um, white anagrapha metallic or pearlescent paper. Pearlescent, sorry. This is pearlescent paper. Um, pearlescent, um, anagrapha matte gold. Same thing, cut it, cut these out of the white pearlescent and then colored them with the Posca paint pens. Um, this bow goes with the basket. This, um, beautiful lace trim here is with the basket. Uh, but the eggs and the bunny are out of the easel, the bunny easel. And so then added some more of that little moss, super cute, right? And then added some of the Easter bunny, uh, stickers, and the sentiment and thought that came out really sweet. And uh, yeah, isn't that super fun? Yeah, I really like that little bunny is so darn cute. And it doesn't have to stay on the pedestal. You can use it in all kinds of different ways. So super, super fun. And um, I got these when I was with my mom in Iowa. I ended up getting these Reese's uh, chocolate, you know, the Reese's peanut butter chocolate um, bunnies. And because John always says he loves the he loves the chocolate bunnies at Easter. And so he loves Reese's too. So I picked those up and they were supposed to be for Easter, but they didn't make it. <laughs> we ended up eating them and they were really stinking good. We got them from the Dollar Tree, which was like totally surprising. They were like a well, it was like a dollar plus. So I don't even know how much they were. I would guess they were like a dollar twenty five if that's what they are. Like the whatever the Dollar Tree is. It, Cause it's not the dollar tree where it's like dollar twenty five, dollar seventy five. I don't know what the deal is. Anyways, I would imagine they were that price, but I don't know because it was like a dollar plus. But they had some really cool stuff. Anyhow, so these are my two cards um, that I made for my little examples, and uh, so yeah, I thought we could make another one, and I still want to use the Happer Happer Happy Paper Collection. But I want to make a chocolate bunny this time. So this, if you have it, this is some of the paper that's in it. Um, not the gold or the glitter. I just, from other projects, just shoved it in there because it was easier than having to put it back in it where it goes. <laughs> so this is the paper collection now. And these are the papers that we're going to use out of it. I'm going to use these two purple ones. Um, and then, uh, I picked out some craft cardstock, picked out some golds, probably for the base is what I'm thinking. And then I picked out these pastel glitter and pearlescent papers and thought these could be my Easter eggs. So instead of having to color them, we'll just cut them out and hopefully this will give us enough color assortment variation that we could, that it'll work for our card. So still going to also use the moss but I think I might switch it up to the Spanish moss which is the gray since we're going pastel it's like a beigey color um so that's what we're gonna do so let's go ahead and get started um I don't want to lose those okay we'll just keep them in a pile over here so this is gonna be my Easter bunny oh but we have to make her a base so actually so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna cut out I'm going to cut out a, um, wait, it goes like this. I'm going to cut this out of here, like normal. 
Um, so here, where are you? I'm going to cut this paper out for the base. And then typically how this folds is this folds over like this. So since the back of this is white, this would be white on top. So what I'm going to do alternately then as well is I'm going to then cut from here down uh, from this extra piece here and give myself a layering piece for my easel portion. So we're going to make something that resembles resembles this. Okay, so I'm going to alter this. This isn't how you make it uh, traditionally, but this is how I'm going to make mine. And I'll show you how that works. So let me cut these pieces out and I'll be right back. Oh, and I might as well do the layering as well. Uh, so the other thing I was going to do was uh, I'm going to cut out a layering out of this one. And I might do two. I might actually do two, one for the top and one for the interior. And... Uh, <laughs> Excuse me, goodness gracious. Um, and then I think what I'll do too is I'll actually, yeah, might as well get a bunch of die cutting done. Um, I think I'll cut this out of this. I'll also cut it out of, because I need the base. I need the base. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these base pieces and I'm going to cut out the base pieces in gold and and um, pearlescent gold. So regular matte gold and then also pearlescent gold. And we'll see what works for us there. And then what I'm going to do is also cut out my egg portion, um, my eggs too, out of all of these colors as well. So I've got a pink a purple and a turquoise matte foil and then I have a mint and a pink pearlescent so I figured voila that should be pretty good and I'm gonna do each one of these with the three and I'll be right back okay hang on okay so I got my pieces cut out and I want to go ahead and uh, color up my little bunny uh, gonna use some uh, stamps of like chocolate brown and um, since it's chocolate, a chocolate bunny, I thought, hey, that would be fitting. So I'm just going to highlight it a little. I'm not going to try to color all the, the details of it. Just kind of enhance the, um, just enhance the edges and some of the details of the bunny uh, to make it look fun. Um... And I'm only going to go over the the bunny portion, actually. Oh my goodness, look how cute that guy is. Oh yeah. Oh, how sweet. Right? Oh my gosh, this little guy is so adorable. Oh, I should get a bow. We need a bow. I think I'm going to do a white bow. But look how sweet that little bunny is. Okay, and then the other thing I want to do too is I want to go ahead and uh, use this uh, Posca, uh, this pink Posca glitter pen on it. And I'm going to color its little ear and uh, its little cheek and stuff. Uh, do its little ear. Oh my heavens, right? Isn't this the cutest little bunny? And then uh, what I'd like to do is... Okay, so we got his little nose, his little cheeks. We got the little ear, but I'm going to use a Sharpie uh, fine liner pen. And I'm just going to do his little eye real quick. And I'm just... I just went right over that raised little embossed detail and um I think he looks adorable now um super super fun so now what we want to do is oh, oh so while this is actually drying we'll just set this aside and we'll go ahead and we'll get our card base going here so traditionally how oh and I did an executive decision because I wasn't sure well actually oh that is pretty good I wasn't sure if that was too dark I, I do have another layer of that one. 
I did do that one. So maybe we use this on the inside then. Um, but what does it look like? Actually, what does it look like? Like this though for the outside. What do we think? Um, actually, let's see. It's going to be like that. It's going to be like this. So, oh, maybe we shouldn't touch the wet paint pen. <laughs> let's see. I think maybe we do want this one. That looks pretty. I don't know. This actually makes it look, this makes it pop. I'm thinking we're going to go with the white. Yeah, the white pops. And let's see what let's see what we like for I was thinking this, but maybe we go a different way. So I was thinking uh the base in gold like this. The um the uh, middle portion in metallic, the gold metallic, and then this uh rim piece in in the gold as well. Oh, I like that. I think that is really pretty. Okay, I think we're going to do that. And then if we layer up some of these little eggs. Um, and then I also did some gold too. Um, so we could, we could do, probably we need some pearlescent ones here. Oh, here. Like there, but we need a pearlescent. Whoops, a pearlescent. We'll grab a little pink one here, and then we could do maybe a lavender, like there. That's really pretty, isn't it? That's actually really pretty. Um, maybe we'll do something like that. Something-ish. So, okay, so let's go ahead and get our card base going here. Um, let's see, we don't... Okay, so typically how this goes is you fold it up here. Um, you want to make sure it's square with the rest of the base, though. Um, so I'm going to use my bone folder and give it a nice crease like that. And then this little tab right here folds down. Like this. Okay. And then normally what you would do is you would take this and you would layer it on top of here. And then, oh, well, you would, yeah, you would glue it to this tab right here. Which I, it's one-sided paper A. So there, it has that minus going for it. And then B, um, I... I don't like, I don't like the, I don't, I don't like this whole sticking out thing here. I'm not, I'm not a fan of this. So what I've done is I cut another one from here down. And I'm just going to cut this. And I don't like the shape of this too. So I'm going to ad lib all of it. So what I'm going to do is. I'm actually going to adhere this. This is going to be my tab portion. So I'm going to glue this onto the tab right here. So let's go ahead and get that done. And we want to line this up with the back, but also with the bottom. We want this to all look as nice as possible and all lined up all the way around. So then once I feel like I've got it lined up well enough, we're going to press this down like this. Then we're going to flip it over and really burnish uh, the heck out of it. The little bejesus out of it. Yeah. And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and make sure that it's not stuck where it shouldn't be. So this is all free free flowing. So that way when you go to easel, it looks like that. Now, see see this? See how this looks? I'm just I'm not a fan of this. I want it to look like my bunny. Um I want this to look like my bunny. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue my bunny base down. I'm going to glue this down. And then we're going to do a little trimming. Um, Because I think we could make that look a little better. Uh, so just going to adhere this really quick. Right in the center. Making sure I get a nice even line all the way around. As, as you know, as well as you can. So, I'm going to go that way. Be sure you don't have glue on your fingers because you get schmutz on your card. See? Ah. We're covering it up. Don't worry. We're covering it up. Next time, just wipe it on your pants. It's all good. <laughs> okay, now what I want to do is I'm going to do a little surgery up at the top. We're going to do a little... Um, we're going to do a little choppy choppy here because I am not a fan of that. So what I'm going to do is there's a little dent right here. I don't know if you can see it, but it kind of follows the nose. So I'm just going to try to leave about the same amount of space all the way around and trim up up to around the ears to make it look like it's supposed to be like that. And I'm also going to trim this one. I like that. Which I think that looks better. Don't you think that looks better? I mean, it, it like it looks like now it looks like it's supposed to be like that. So then you open it up. It looks like a little shadow of a bunny. Right? Doesn't that look pretty cute? I think that looks adorable. So that is what we're doing. That is happy to me. I like it. So now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to adhere this one down to my card base. And then we're going to pop everything else on top of this up. So let's go ahead and put some glue on this. And get this one stuck down. And then, yeah, and then from here we can pop up, like, what I want to do is make it look like this is sitting in the middle of the platter. Which is why I'm going to pop the platter up then. So then we're going to center this up. I think this looks pretty good. Yes, yeah, so you just lined it up. Make sure you got a nice even border all the way around. Isn't that cute? That is cute. Oh my goodness. And I like how the white just makes the brown pop. So very happy with that. And so now what we want to do is we're going to pop up. We're going to pop all these items all up. Um, so we need uh, dimensionals for these. So now what we're going to do is. Let's see. I'm just going to use my little Anna Griffin ones. We're going to use these, and, and then I have a strip dimensional for the rim. So we're going to do that. But actually, I wanted the Stampin' Up! ones. The Stampin' Up! ones are taller. Uh, these are actually taller. I'm not sure what the size is. And then you want to make sure on this one that you put it all the way at the edge. Because um, it has a propensity to want to curl. So I'm going to put this one down. As soon as I get these little <laughs> wily little things off, <laughs> I think this is going to be so pretty. So just eyeball it. If you can eyeball it from the top, that's always the nicest because um you'll get a you'll get a better viewpoint, a little eagle eye viewpoint. Okay, so now we're gonna pop this one up. So I'm gonna put one on the very corners too, so those don't curl up. One in the center and one at the bottom of the base. Uh, like so. And then I gotta find my Spanish moss. Um, that, I think the gray one. I think that's what I'm gonna use. Um, uh, I don't know. Actually, we should test out. We should, we should see what the green looks like. Maybe, oh, that's, that's not going so hot. Here, let me get these. Let me layer these on here. Hold on.
Okay, so got that done. Um, I also um, tested my little uh, moss out, and I think I'm going to like it. I love the green. It's a nice little pop of color there. And then um, also, I forgot I need to do the inside too before we get too far. So I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, and I found a pink bow. Um, I was I was looking for white, but I couldn't, um, I didn't have any of the big floppy white ones. So, um, I went, I went for the pink because I love the, the floppy style of how it looks. I, I love how floppy it looks on the bunny. So just popping some glue on here. I don't know about this. I think this should have been ivory or something, but that's okay. We're going for it. I love it now. I totally love that. <laughs> and it's light enough you can actually write on it still. So then I I have this Easter greetings. Uh, I'm going to pop that up on a couple of Heartfelt Creations dimensionals so it's taller. And then this is going to be my stopping mechanism. So I think I'm going to put it right about there so I still have room to write at the top and it looks like that oh it's crooked okay use your straight eye guys don't look at it tilt your head a little so now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to trim off this one off the back and then we're going to add this like up here somewhere just next to it like that I think that looks nice. And this is a sticker still, so we'll we'll go ahead and use it like it it's it's supposed to be. Yeah, we we do want to go under like that. And actually, we need it to be down um so that way this still this still stops like this. So then what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can finagle our little bunny Oh, yeah, and then how how cute is that? Oh, my heavens, that's adorable. So then this should be able to... So sometimes you just have to play around with the design of the stickers to see if you can get them to work for where you want them to go. And then see how cute that is? Oh, my heavens, that's adorable. Isn't that adorable? So still have some fun places to write. You can even write up there if you want to. So it looks like that. And then like that, right? How cute is that? That is still so cute. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and see if we can start getting our Spanish moss or our little moss in there. So I'm just pulling out little chunks, little bits. And uh, I'm going to use my little finger things, the little glue press fingers. Um, I picked these up my mom reminded me I needed them when I was at the Dollar Tree because I had some and then I, I don't know what happened to them um who knows where they went but I I need them so I'm gonna start putting glue right here and this glue is really hot so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bunch it up really skinny and then squish it down in Squish it down into the into the hot glue. Bunch it up really tiny. Like that. And then if it looks too like this here, I'm just going to cut it off. Like that. And then I can actually use this down here where it's a little bit thin. And that's what I'm going to do down there. So bunch it up like this. And then just... Pop it down in here. Oh, I didn't even need it, huh? Well, that's cool. At least, see, if you have them out, you don't need them. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm going to trim that up a bit. Trim this up a bit. There. Isn't that looking cute? Oh, my heavens. Yeah, that little moss is such a fun little element to add uh, to things. I just, I just love how it looks. Um, so now what we want to do is, yeah, let's see if we can get this one, this part tacked down. There, we'll just do that like that for just a second. 
And this is looking so cute. Okay, now let's get our eggs. Um, I don't know if we're gonna need... Let's see. I think we were like... Something like that. But I'm actually gonna put these Anna Griffin dimensionals behind. And not, um... And not these. I'm just gonna try to see what looks the nicest um, ad-libbed wise. And I think I'm going to do like a large one, a couple small ones, but over the second small one, I'm going to see about adding a, a bigger one. Then like, let's see, maybe we could do like this. Well, it needs to be a small one though. We'll do like that. Maybe we'll just kind of do like that. Then we'll do here, and then what What other color do we need? Oh, purple. We need a purple one. So actually what I want to do is I want to leave these. I want to do this like this, actually. Um, I'm going to do this one like, I think I'm going to do it like that. So this this color variation. And I might end up, I might end up cutting, yeah, I'm going to end up doing, doing like this, layering that one on top of that one. And then it like looks really nice and cohesive this way. So let's see. So let's, so I'm going to go ahead and add dimensionals to these and then stick these down and I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. We got all the legs on. I just popped up some of them uh, with uh, foam tape, glued some directly down, and then um, layered the different ones over. So now what I want to do is I want to add this little sweet little bow uh, to... Isn't it the cutest? <laughs> I love the floppy bow. It's so cute. And there we have it. Um, A cute little... Easter chocolate bunny easel card. Isn't that adorable? I think that is just lovely. What do you guys think? Isn't that pretty darn fun? Oh, I think that is just awesome. And then that's what the inside looks like. You got plenty of places to write. And um, then it easels up really nice. And I love this that we ad-libbed that to make it look like it was part of the bunny and a little bit more substantial. So I, I really like how that came out. So I get enough Easter eggs to do another one. Look at that. So that's pretty fun. So there you go. If you um, cut out a few more than you need, you can always make another card. So that's the one we did. Oh, wait, where are you guys at? That's the one we did together. Um, This was one of the examples like this. And then uh, this was the other example that we made right there um let's see i don't know i might i might have to easel this one up but that's that's what that one looked like uh right there and so then this one easels up like that as well um super fun with these little easel cards they are a hoot they're so easy to make um i hope you enjoyed this little tutorial let me know which one is your favorite i'm kind of loving this one with the chocolate bunny i think that came out so pretty and um but anyhow there it is there hope you guys are having a fantastic week or weekend whenever you're watching this and um i appreciate each and every one of you thanks so much for hanging out and until next time happy crafting everyone Bye bye